Glenwood Springs goes 100% renewable, but what does that actually mean? Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, summer rental season has arrived, and county officials are wading through thousands of backlog permits for short-term rentals. The Summit Daily reports more than 3,000 property owners have applied for permits, now required by county law passed in March. Just 105 of those permits have been reviewed and approved, fewer than 3%, with another 1,000 new permits expected by deadline in two days. Those numbers are for homes on county land only. Local towns have separate laws for short-term rentals, like Breckenridge, where town council created a new finance position to manage Airbnb-style permits. Council discussed the rental market and new laws at this Tuesday's meeting, where Mayor Eric Manula said rental rules can't be about making money, it has to be about quality of life, suggesting penalties for rental owners who violate new laws. Today is opening day of the annual Wave Arts Festival in downtown Breckenridge, mixing elements of light, water, and sound with more than a dozen outdoor art installations. Highlights include pop-up string and brass concerts on the Blue River and Cloud, an installation made of 6,000 light bulbs with attached strings so you command lightning storms, just like Zeus. Wave runs through Sunday evening from 3 to 11 p.m. Most installations are free. A truck towing a horse trailer crashed on I-70 through Glenwood Canyon yesterday afternoon, injuring the horse while the driver emerged unscathed. The Post Independent reports that crash closed eastbound lanes for three hours. A veterinarian responded with emergency personnel, calming and stabilizing the horse before taking it to a clinic. Glenwood Springs is now the seventh city in the nation powered entirely by renewable energy. This from the Post Independent, Glenwood joins cities like Georgetown, Texas with 100% renewable energy through a mix of hydroelectric and wind power supplied by Municipal Energy Agency of Nebraska. This has been a city goal since 2013, but online commenters say the truth is murkier than it seems. Forbes reports the term 100% renewable is a financial contract, not a physical one, meaning utilities get energy from many different sources, including coal, and there is no guarantee Glenwood's power comes exclusively from wind and water. The city and customers instead pay renewable rates, with no rate increase for now. This comes as other mountain towns and ski resorts set lofty goals for renewable energy, led by A Basin's plan for zero net emissions by 2025. Breck, Frisco, Summit County, Aspen, and Avon have similar goals for 2035, most of which use the term zero net emissions rather than 100% renewable. In sports, the Rockies beat the Diamondbacks last night 5-4. The Blues beat the Bruins in overtime, tying the Stanley Cup final at one game apiece. Next game is Saturday. Today, the Rockies wrap their series with the D-backs at 1.10 p.m., and the Warriors face the Raptors in Game 1 of the NBA Finals at 7 on ABC. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Frisco's Run the Rockies 10K and Half Marathon returns this Saturday on a modified course due to avalanche debris across the 10-mile wreck path. You can still sign up at runtherockies.com. And in one week, the Summit Mountain Challenge Bike Series opens on the Frisco Peninsula. That's Wednesday, June 5th. Sign up at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.